and welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? What's good? What's liquor? I hope you guys are having a lovely week. Welcome back to another episode of Juice with Gila. It's always good to see you. And if you're joining me for the first time, welcome to the family. Big hug. We're all about love here. So, you know, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn notifications on because this is a place to be. You know what I mean? So in today's video, we're going to talk about leveling up as a classy woman. So what I mean by leveling up is basically just improving the different sides and aspects to being a better version of yourself tomorrow, a few minutes from now. You know what I mean? It's just all about self-improvement and, you know, just stepping up a notch into being the best version that you can possibly be. And so today we're going to talk about everything that comes with leveling up as a classy woman. So, so the main aspect that I will talk about in terms of leveling up as a classy woman is obviously investing in yourself. And uh, firstly, I'll begin to just break it down for you, the reasons as to why you should invest in yourself and the benefits. So firstly, investing in yourself gives you a more broad perspective on your experiences, on your life. It gives a meaning to your experiences and therefore you can easily spot your challenges. And once you're able to spot your challenges, then it simply means you're able to come up with solutions quicker to the many experiences that we go through in our lives. The second reason why you should invest in yourself is because it just gives you that challenge to what you currently believe in. So we all have certain things and ways of life and ways of doing things. And um, investing in yourself gives you more knowledge to challenge those beliefs that we go by each and every day. This expands your awareness of uh, your environment and awareness to how other things work. So that way you're able to spot certain things in your life that are not really working out the way you want them to. And then you're able to impose these new ideas and these new beliefs that you've got to learn and you know try to find a way to make things work so that you can get the results that you actually want investing in yourself also gives you endless possibilities and by this it simply means you are able to set better goals and you set yourself you know a certain standard that you want to go by and certain things that you want to achieve and the more you learn about yourself the more you create more room for improvement. And lastly, investing in yourself just gives you that boosted self-confidence in the way you communicate with others and in the way you conduct yourself in everyday situations. There are so many ways in which you can invest in yourself as that woman of, you know, confidence, as that classy woman. There's so many ways that you can invest in yourself. And firstly, I'll start by physical maintenance. And by physical maintenance, it's basically body exercise, nutrition, and sleep. So physical exercise basically makes your body more able and more fit to be able to carry out the different things that you have to go by during the day, either going to work or running a business. When you carry out physical exercise, it decreases stress and gives you more energy to go about your day. And then the next thing is nutrition. So nutrition is what you take in. So you have to be very careful and, you know, pick out foods that are healthy and beneficial to your well-being. So yeah, lastly, sleep. Make sure you get enough sleep because when you're well rested, you give your body a good head start to carry out the next activities during the day. So make sure you get enough sleep. Another way to invest in yourself is experiences. So from time to time, you cannot just decide to be closed indoors and just a closed-minded person. Travel, meet new people, meet new connections, discover new environments. It's so healthy and beneficial to you and your networking. It's just so unfortunate now, we really all cannot travel because of the ongoing pandemic. But a visit to your local resort is also not a bad idea. Where you could invest in yourself is education. So by education, I don't mean you have to go overboard and start stressing because now that, now that you've heard education, you're thinking about that master's degree, that uh, PhD and all those things. Yes, if you can afford it and get scholarships, then of course, go ahead and improve on your knowledge, on your existing knowledge. But I don't necessarily mean that perspective of just getting a bachelor's degree, master's degree or PhD. 
but I simply mean educating yourself even in the most simple things. So for instance, learn a new language. It's so beautiful to be able to just discover how other people talk, other people speak and communicate with each other. So definitely learn a new language. And another thing you could do is learning a new skill. Skills, skills come in a variety form, you know, so you could maybe take an online course to learn how to do marketing. Um, you can take an online course to learn a new instrument, a new musical instrument like the violin or, you know, playing the keyboard and things like that. The fourth way to invest in yourself as a classy woman is personal strategy. Set goals for yourself. Goals are a guide onto what you want to achieve at the end of the day, what you want to achieve in your life, what you want to achieve over the coming years. So you cannot just be loitering around being dormant with your time because that's wasting time and to be honest you're not going to get that time back so it's very important that you know you set goals to guide you into giving you sort of a purpose because you want to achieve something in the future or you want to achieve something you know today live in the moment enjoy the moment and just make the most out of the time that you have the next thing you definitely want to do is investing in a positive network so what I mean by this is the people around us most likely influence our decisions, they most likely influence our tastes when it comes to things. So it's very important that we surround ourselves with a positive network. The only thing that we want is positive energy, we're all about growth, so make sure to surround yourself with positive minded people. And then also follow social media accounts of people that inspire you and if you feel uncomfortable with certain people on your social media profiles it's not a bad thing to actually unfriend them because at the end of the day your mental health is the most important thing and honestly it's nothing personal so if anybody comes at you trying to attack you protect your peace there's nothing wrong with that it's nothing malicious it's just protecting your energy because like I said, we're all about growth. So that's it on today's episode. Thank you for tuning in today's episode. I hope these few tips have been helpful in, you know, helping you get on that level of growth that you need. And uh, I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Make sure to like this video. If you enjoyed watching it, share it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so. Because yeah, this is where to get all the juice and all the tea only available on Juice with Jilla. So I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye. Stay fabulous.